Well, I think there's a biblical foundation for why we should do this. And though we don't have time to go into all the details regarding migration from a biblical perspective, from, from a kingdom perspective, particularly thinking about missions as we're doing, you know, in, in, in having these, these videos and these conversations, uh, the, the first thing that comes to my mind is, is something that the Apostle Paul said at Mars Hill. So in Acts chapter 17, while he is speaking to the Athenians there at Mars Hill, uh, one of the things that he says is that the God who created everything, created everybody from one man, that being Adam and Eve, uh, he, he has determined uh, the, the, the habitations uh, and the boundaries of their dwelling places upon the earth. And the reason is that so that they might grope for God, so that they might search Him and seek Him. And, and so if our sovereign Lord is, is moving the nations across the world, many of which are unreached people groups, moving outside of their countries of birth, moving into other portions of the world in Western contexts whereby the opportunities to be able to connect with them and share the gospel uh, are, are, are just as simple as sometimes walking across the room in a Starbucks uh, coffee shop. If the, if the Lord is doing that, then, then what does it say to us in, in light of this Great Commission task? And so the need to welcome the stranger is, is the need to, to, to show Christ's love in both our actions and in our words as well. And so if, for example, uh, the Lord is bringing Saudis to the United States, which He is in fairly large numbers, particularly as university students to study, uh, if He is doing that, and yet at the same time we're trying to, to get into other parts of the world where Saudis reside to be able to share the love of Christ with them, if, if we're willing to, to try to get into those other contexts where it's very difficult, willing to risk life and limb, but are not willing to walk across the street when they're in our own very neighborhoods, there, there is something that's, that's missionally malignant with that approach to carrying out the Great Commission. Now, by far the greatest needs for the gospel in multiplying disciples and leaders in churches is outside of North America. But, but if the Lord is, as Mars Hill sermon would go, if He is determining the boundaries and habitations of where, where people live so that they might come to know Him, and He's bringing them to the, one of the countries in the world that has a very large evangelical presence, how then should we live in relation to those unreached people groups? And so the, the response is, why should we welcome the strangers next door? We need to reach out to them and minister to them in the name of Christ so that they may come to know and experience the hope of this gospel message that we have so embraced and they may come to follow Him and give praise to Him.